Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to the Ant-Man channel. It is Tuesday, the 20th of January, 2015, and I am, as always, your host, Ant-Man. I have an article in front of me from the ChristianPost.com. ChristianPost.com, under the column of U.S. Boy Who Came Back from Heaven publisher, retailer, warned story was a lie. Continued to sell despite concerns from other Christian leaders. By Samuel Smith, CP reporter. Unbelievable. On Sunday morning, I went to Bible study because I play for the worship team at my, at my church. I, I play the drums sometimes or I sing. You know what I mean? I've been singing most of my life and I've been just, I actually just picked up the drums like about a year and a half ago. So I've always kind of played around with it, but I've actually been taking it seriously for a little bit now. I'm not the greatest, but I fill in for, you know, the fact that we lost our, our drummer because he, he moved out or he moved away, got a job and whatnot. Um, on Sunday school, on Sunday, we were talking about how King David lost his son because of the adultery that he committed with Bathsheba. He was fasting and he wouldn't be comforted while, you know, his son was passing away. But as soon as he passed away, he got up and he started to eat and he cleaned up. And he, you know what I mean? He said something really profound. He said, I, he cannot come back to me, but I can go to, but I will go to him. The Bible makes it very clear that nobody can go to heaven and come back and tell you about it. Nobody can do these things. When John wrote Revelation, he was taken up in the spirit. He was not taken up physically. And um, there are movies that are coming out saying that they're they're Bible based and they're 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 uh, claiming things that are unbiblical. I brought this up on Sunday morning at 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 Sunday school, and it seemed like a lot of people kind of got uncomfortable by it. But yeah, man, don't get attached to stupid Hollywood movies, man. Don't get your Bible knowledge from movies don't do it because there's so many movies out there that are not biblical and here's a perfect example of this artwork from tyndale's commercial design team in celebration of its 50th anniversary is what the picture i'm gonna put on my thumbnail i'll also post this link to this article as well excuse me the producer and one of the largest retailers of the book the boy who came back from heaven were warned over a year ago that the story was false however both continue to profit off the popular best-selling book Despite the mother's concerns, it's selling false hope. Our 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 belief in in God does not have to. It, it's not our faith does not cling to some uh, story that somebody has. You know, it's really not an experiential type of faith. It's a it's a faith in a zeal based on knowledge, and we got our knowledge from the Bible, not from what people may say. Uh, you need to discern the spirits. You need to test the spirits when people. When spirits may, if, if you're getting visions and stuff like that while you're dreaming in dreams, test the spirits. Don't just believe everything that comes to you supernaturally because it may not be coming from God. You know, the prophet Muhammad thought that he got Islam from the archangel Michael. It turned out it was the devil himself that gave him that religion and made him go out and do all the things he did. Anyways, the... Um, the Christian publishing company Tyndale House Publishers, the producer of the popular 2010 book, was warned at least two years ago that the book was not based on a true story like it claims and that the premise of the book was false. However, Tyndale uh, failed to stop producing the book when the mother of the child co-author reached out to, recent, to uh, recant his story. The publishing company announced last week that it will no longer produce the book after its co-author, 16-year-old Alex Malarkey. Really? Alex Malarkey? It doesn't get any more uh, ironic than that. Wrote an open letter re recanting his testimony that claimed he died and went to heaven, saw angels and met Jesus and Satan, all during a two-month coma at the age of six. Very unusual. Uh, although Tyndale House released a statement stating that the decision to drop the book was in light of malarkey's just too ironic to not want to laugh there. Re uh, recent open letter, Malarkey and his mother, Beth, have urged for over three years for the publishing company and book retailers to stop profiting off of lies. However, neither Tindo House nor Lifeway Christian stores acted on the Malarkey's concern despite having knowledge that the story was untrue. Paul Johnson, who runs the Grace TU Media Ministry of John MacArthur's Grace Community Church in California, you guys should really listen to the sermons John MacArthur preaches, he's amazing, was contracted by Beth Malarkey in 2012 after he wrote a negative review of the book Malarkey told Johnson that she had been trying to spread the word that the story is an embellishment she shared correspondence that she had with Tyndale House regarding the matter yet they were unable to get the company to stop producing the book so they're shilling money or they're shilling books for money the love of money is the root of all evil and unfortunately so many Christian Christian quote-unquote people do this kind of stuff. 
it gives us a bad name because a lot of people who don't believe in God tend to think that we're all about money and shilling things, and it's not true. For the record, Tyndale House Publishing publishers knew full well more than two years ago that Kevin Malarkey's book contained fabricated stories, Johnson wrote. I have a stack of correspondence between, or a stack of correspondence between Beth Malarkey and Tyndale in which she tried to make Alex's true voice heard. They completely blew her off. The book was co- Written by Malarkey's father, Kevin, who has since divorced Beth and continues to receive 100% of the royalties from the book, Kevin Malarkey maintains that the Alex story was true. I would never in my life use money that I was getting off of false testimonies. That's evil. That's so evil. Like, to be... Ugh. I would not be able to spend that money. I'd give it away or do something with it. Last April, a Beth Malarkey... Uh, wrote a blog post sharing her frustrations that her concerns have not been taken seriously and that the book continues to be published without being questioned. Johnson stated that he also sent a scathing letter to Tyndale House concerning the false claims in the book. However, Tyndale House did not reply to the letter. Last Friday, Tyndale House publicist Maggie Rowe released a statement acknowledging that the company knew for years that Beth Malarkey, Malarkey had concerns over the validity of the claims in the book. <sighs> Excuse me. The statement claims that Tyndale House attempted to, re to establish a meeting with the Beth, uh, Alex, and Kevin Malarkey, uh, but the family would never agree to a meeting. In response to Rowe's statement, Johnson sent Rowe a letter stating that her statement was false. Johnson's, later, uh, Johnson's letter stated that there had been numerous email exchanges between Tyndale House and Beth Malarkey. Johnson's letter also states that both, uh, that both Beth and Alex did, in fact, agree to a meeting with Tyndale House, but one was never set up. It is perfectly clear that Tindo House had ample reason to put the brakes on, the, on this book years ago, Johnson wrote. I have many more emails between various Tindo representatives and Beth Malarkey that further prove the point. I'm willing to make them public if that's what it takes to make the truth of the matter known. Absolutely. I'm sorry, but if you're going to be negligent or you're going to be incompetent running a book publishing company and you know you're shilling lies, you need to be exposed. You're consciously making a decision to, to deceive people. And these are things that are not based on biblical truth, man. Nobody can go to heaven and come back and tell you that they've seen Jesus and met Jesus. No, the Bible clearly tells you that that is not true. And, and, and people need to know that. Instead of getting emotionally attached to silly movies that come out and stuff like that. It's just knock it off, man. Your, your faith should come through knowledge of the word of God. Lifeway Christian Stores, one of the national, one of the nation's largest Christian retail retailers, also announced last week after Malarkey's open letter that it would remove the book from its bookshelves. Lifeway remains uh, maintains that if it found out that the book was false when, when Malarkey's open letter was published, however, uh, uh, they were also informed months earlier that the book was based on false claims. Pulpit and Pen, the website that published Malarkey's open letter, reported that Lifeway was informed of the book's invalid claim last year. Public uh, Pulpit and Pen posted text from an email conversation between a former Lifeway trustee, Justin Peters, and Lifeway president Tom or Thom Rayner, dated from May of 2014. If you are not already aware, the book, The Boy Who Came Back from Heaven, uh, detailing story of Alex Malarkey, is fiction. It did not happen, the, tr the trustee wrote. I know this, ha this because I have exchanged numerous emails and have personally spoken with Beth Malarkey, Alex's mom. Alex does not support the book. You might want to pull this too if you haven't already. I will be glad to give you Mrs. Malarkey's phone number and email address if you would like to verify that I am telling you the truth. Johnson further writes in a blog post that the publication of inaccuracies in fiction, such as the kind seen in The Boy Who Came Back From Heaven, have become an underlying problem in the evangelical printing industry. He stated that companies continue to publish heaven tourism books just for the sole purpose of profit. Amen. What difference, uh, what's the difference, or what's different about the current crop of afterlife testimonies is that they are being eagerly sought and relentlessly, relentlessly crack, cranked out by evangelical publishers, Johnson writes. They are bought and devoured by millions who would describe themselves as born-again Bible-believing Christians. And of course, in a, in a, in a postmodern world where the emergent movement is making all Christians believe that, that our, our faith is based off of, you know, ha happy and fuzzy feelings and all of this and going to big-time whoop de doo centers to, to raise our hands and repeat things over and over again, uh, you're going to get people who are basing their faith off of uh, emotions and experiences and stuff like that and not off of the truth of the Word of God. We need to uphold that the Word of God has authority and it's true and that um, we, need to, we need to hold it in a high uh, regard that that's where we get our zeal from. It's from knowledge and not from silly things that don't line up with Scripture. But God bless you and have a good day.